are here in IDEF this year representing our full range with starting from 4x4 paramilitary vehicles till the main battle tank. We have developed Cobra II a few years back and it's been a very successful vehicle. It's basically more powered uh, and more protected vehicle than Cobra. Uh, we, it's, it's, uh, we have based it on Cobra vehicle, uh, but we just have more power on it and more protection on it with the same crew capacity. Uh, on the other side, let me, let me go through the vehicles if you like. We have, let's start with the paramilitary vehicles. We have few paramilitary vehicles at that corner and internal security vehicle and patrol vehicles uh, which, are, which have great success in the international markets as well as Turkey. We have Kaya MRAP vehicle there based on Unimog chassis. It's about 14 and a half ton vehicle with high mine protection and ballistic protection as well. You can see a lot of, I mean, quite a few Cobra 2 vehicles in here. Cobra 2 is also serving the United Nations peacekeeping missions uh, as well as Cobra. And uh, on our Arma family, we have 6x6 and 8x8 Arma vehicles which are showing a great success in the international markets again. Most of the turrets you see on, on, on our vehicles are also our own design and production. Uh, Muzrak has been a new turret in autocar portfolio with 30 millimeter gun and we have two types of Muzraks in here. I mean autocar is, has a wide experience on wheeled vehicles but of course the industry is developing and uh, we are one of the main players in the market with our tracked vehicles as well. The success we have shown on the wheeled vehicles carried us on the tracked vehicles too. Uh, our tracked vehicle story started with Tulpar, which is a heavier version of the vehicle that you are seeing on my behind. Uh, that is not an amphibious vehicle and this is a lighter version of Tulpar, we call it Tulpar S with less weight which is 17 tons and it's also amphibious. Alta is our big proud, I mean uh, it, it, the story goes back to 2009 and we have been awarded by the national uh, Ministry of Defense in, in, in Turkey in 2009 to design and develop the Turkey's national main battle tank. Uh, at that time, uh, the tender issued by the Ministry of Defense and Autocar has participated tender on its own against a consortium between the, all other manufacturers of Turkey. Uh, thanks God, I mean, we were proudly, we are we were awarded to design and develop the main battle tank. Now, I mean, all the prototypes are completed, all the tests are completed successfully, and uh, we are ready for the serial production of the main battle tank for our army. We're just fully ready and, uh, for the mission, and we are waiting to be awarded by our national main defense ministry uh, for the serial production. in Otokar stand now, we are in El Jasur stand. This is, El Jasur is a joint venture between uh, Tawazun Holdings of United Arab Emirates and Otokar Land Systems established in United Arab Emirates. This is our new baby, it's an 8x8 vehicle, uh, amphibious 8x8 vehicle, infantry fighting vehicle, equipped with Russian BMP-3 turret on it. And El Jasur is awarded by the United uh, Arab Emirates Army for the infantry fighting vehicles, 8x8 vehicles. Back in February this year, it was announced in IDEX, it was a happy show for us uh, and for our partners as well. That was a privilege to be awarded by the UAE Army for such an important project. 
It's, it's a totally joint project between Otokar and, and, and Tavazun and all the engineering works, manufacturing facilities, everything will be based in UAE. I mean, uh, we, are, we, are, we are establishing a fully capable factory in UAE.